Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's me, Allen. Today I'm going to be covering the Parlo drama slash situation. If any of you guys don't know who Parlo is, he's a very popular Roblox YouTuber and he covers drama within the Roblox community. However, lately he's been in some drama himself and it all revolves around this Discord server that he had made under the alias Cami Femboy, which yeah, the username alone is enough to make any normal person cringe and is right off the bat a red flag. But that's not what this video is about. In order to give you guys the full picture of everything, we need to start from the beginning and I have to talk about this document that came out exposing Parlo. The main purpose of this document is to expose Parlo for having a NSFW Discord server that allows minors in it, as well as some other things that I will be covering in this video. Now Parlo has responded to these allegations multiple times and his main response video is almost two hours long, which is pretty crazy, especially when you take into consideration he doesn't even cover everything in the video. Essentially all he's says in his video is that his discord server was never made with the intention of being an nsfw server which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me considering that the server is meant to be a hangout place for femboys hence why the name of the server is homotopia also keep in mind that parlo is 18 years old making a discord server for minors with the intent of it being a hangout place for femboys is fucking weird as hell but no that alone does not make him a pedophile which a lot of people are trying to say it may make him a weirdo but he is not a pedophile for doing that the funny thing is though parlo isn't the only weirdo that is involved in this situation the person who made the document is just as bad as parlo the person who made the document goes by the username xd gamer 420 or furry blocks he had a youtube channel which is now deleted and you can no longer find it by trying to search it up however you can use the Wayback time machine to find the channel but you cannot view any of his archived videos on there basically he just uploaded troll videos but he took things way too far with Parlo. I'm going to play a clip now from Parlo's response video so you guys can see who this XD Gamer guy is and what he did. First of all, you need to know who XD Gamer is. XD Gamer is someone who I have covered extensively in the past in the form of multiple videos, Google documents, and even archive servers. This person has doxxed and harassed multiple miners, posted CP, and owned servers in which facilitated the distribution of not safe work to miners, which is extremely hypocritical in the sense that he attempted to spin a narrative that I did, even even though he literally did 10 trillion times worse. This person created this document under my dad's doc's legal name, in which he had obtained after releasing a doc spin with all my personal information in it on October the 1st, 2022. And he used this information consistently over and over again for the past 370 days to harass me with. The goal of XD Gamer's campaign was made obvious, and lots of my mutuals know this. XD Gamer wants me to try and end my life again, and this motive has been made extremely clear in this tweet which I'm showing right now. So as you guys saw, XD Gamer is a fucking piece of shit, but nobody cares because nobody knows who the fuck he is. Now it is important to note that even though that the guy who made this document is an asshole and a piece of shit, the things that he says in this document is all true. Everything has been archived or has trusted witnesses that Parlo knew or Parlo has confirmed it himself. I would also like to mention that not only are there a lot of things that Parlo doesn't mention in his response videos that he is accused of doing in the documents, but he can also be very misleading at times. He made Major use of censoring in the document made the images seem to be worse than they actually were. Even other members, such as admins on the server, can attest to this. This is often a great tactic utilized by people such as XD Gamer. The images in which were allowed were not not safe for work and were either cropped or XD Gamer just utilized a big black box and slammed it over the images to then lie and insinuate the uncensored image was much worse than it truly was. For example, I have Avon and the Chipmunks here, and oh look, I've put a black box over the entire image now, and I can claim that's like a dead body is under or I can claim that something illegal there. Now the image has been quote unquote censored, so anyone can just warp the narrative to try and claim that the image is not safe for work now, because the original image has purposely not been made apparent and you're just left in ambiguity now like what's behind a black box, I wonder. So here he says that XD Gamer censored the images to make them look more NSFW than they already do. The thing is, the picture can have fucking Powerpuff Girls and Rainbows and Lollipops on the bottom of it and it's still NSFW. Literally nothing in the world can make any of these images not NSFW. All of these images are sexual. There is literally
literally no arguing that. NSFW simply means not safe for work. In what fucking world is it okay to show your boss or any of your colleagues at a workspace any of these images? And as you can see here, there's a screenshot of me stating, True, can you attest the server was not a not safe for work server in which harbored sexualized images of minors? And then this person states, What is the person even talking about? What is this person even talking about? You literally posted the fucking images right under your message, you retard. The fuck do you mean? What is this person even talking about? My theory is honestly that these gay femboys are so numb to seeing so much gay femboy porn that they just think showing people images like this is totally normal. This wouldn't even be an issue at all if the server was 18 plus or the moderators did their job and deleted these images as soon as they saw them. But that's the thing. The moderators would see these images and leave them up knowing that the server is full of 15 year olds. Not only that, every single mod on Parlo's discord server was a minor except for one person and that person goes by the name Natty now. The reason why I say now is because every single time this Natty bitch gets into some kind of controversy, they change their whole entire internet identity to cover their tracks. I wouldn't be surprised if they already changed their username on everything and is now going under that alias fuck me in my furry asshole 101. In case you guys don't know all the shit this Natty person has done, basically they have been caught sending gore to minors on a discord server, creating and promoting her OnlyFans account to her young Roblox viewers. Also, they received nudes from a 12 year old and sent nudes to a 16 year old and they've done even more stuff. So yeah, I think it's safe to say this Natty person is also a weirdo. Parlo also likes to say that he never defends Natty, but he literally defends Natty in his response video. This makes Parlo a crime partner for housing a pedophile in his discord server and he is a proven liar by stating worst part is you let a confirmed pedophile Natty Forsyth in your homotopia discord server and let him talk to minors in which in which could have turned out very badly and yet you still keep Natty with a special role in your main discord server. Now people try and poke inconsistencies in the situation to try and claim him that is a confirmed pedophile. This is a slanderous lie. It was never confirmed and via a police report after the police have searched all her socials and computer images for literally eight months consistently, the situation was deemed inconclusive and they have negated her of any culpability in that situation. And then they try and claim I was a crime partner for housing a pedophile in the discord server. A crime partner? This person really has no idea what he's talking about. A crime partner of what? If Nat had been confirmed as a pedophile, why not show proof confirming the assumptions? So according to this dumbass's logic, since the police didn't confirm as a pedophile after their investigation, Natty isn't a pedophile or a predator in any way. Which means he believes EDP 445 is an innocent man and he really was just there for the cupcake. Like, come on now, give me a fucking break, Parlo. There's no way Parlo is this autistic. He's definitely just fucking glazing his bestie. He also says that he wants to see proof of any of the accusations made towards Natty. So bet, I got you. Green Lego Cats has a video that goes a lot more in depth with everything that this creep has done. So I'm gonna play a clip from that video now. And remember that this is only one of the many things that this weirdo has done. On October 9th, 2018, on the same day he acknowledged this girl was 14, he did some extremely predatory and potentially illegal things. First off, he requested that the 14-year-old girl send him a reveal picture of herself, which he quickly deleted. That on its own is extremely bad, but gets worse when he said that about 20 minutes before acknowledging she was 14. He knew of her age, yet said that anyway, and quickly deleted it, showing he knew what he said was wrong, but did it anyway. This on its own is enough to incriminate him on accusations made against him, but there's more to the situation. Shortly after, he said she sounded innocent and wanted her to say f in the voice chat. And keep in mind, he said she sounded like Lolly earlier. He began pressuring this girl into doing an ASMR session for him after she brought up the possibility of doing one. She was evidently reluctant to do the ASMR as she would just type out what Nat wanted, but Nat kept on persisting and even offered to pay for it. Eventually, she did do the ASMR in the server's voice chat and Nat was one of the people listening to it. During the ASMR, somebody randomly moaned and it sounded like they were pleasuring themselves to it as there was nobody talking other than the girl. This was acknowledged after the ASMR session ended, with that 14 year old girl making a comment on it thinking it was someone else. It was only later realized that it was, in fact, clearly Nat who was moaning after people began circulating a recording of it. I have heard the clip many, many times and I strongly believe Nat was legitimately pleasuring himself to this ASMR of someone he knew was 14. 
Paolo uploaded a video a day or two ago saying that he now has cut all ties with Natty and will no longer be defending Natty, which is great to hear, considering before he couldn't even admit that he was defending Natty. Not, not when she was 18 was definitely like, uh, unmitigated, just complete generosity and uh i believe now after about like six years i believe she's obviously changed from that situation she's definitely not going to go out her way to do what she did and stuff obviously i'm not excusing what she did but clearly uh people can change over that much that long period of time and obviously she's had time to reflect on her actions I and the thing is games, so you're saying you're saying that is not a defense of natty i'm not i'm not defending that I, whatsoever. I think that's defense I'm not even how is it how is it a defense how can you be characterized for what you did six years ago when you were 18 you're trying to literally make people literally forgive natty when they were I'm 18 not. when they were doing this stuff i wouldn't I'm even have done this stuff ever that. in my whole life i would never have posted to a a minor. The issue I have in Parlo's taking accountability video is the timing of it all. He has known what Natty has done for years now, and he's been defending her over and over again. But now, all of a sudden, he's cutting ties with her, right as he's receiving the most amount of backlash for doing so. Essentially, what I'm saying is, Parlo's apology slash taking accountability video isn't really him taking accountability. It's just him covering his own ass, which makes what he's saying not come off as being genuine at all. Moving on from all the Natty shit, I believe that there is no doubt that the server that Parlo had should have never been made. And Parlo agrees that the server should have never been made, but not for the right reason. The reason why Parlo doesn't think that his server should have ever been made was due to him getting exposed for making the server in the first place and all of these messages in the server getting leaked, which caused him to get backlash. The real reason why the server should have never been made is because it is a fucking gay femboy server for minors. It is very obvious by the conversations that happen in the server that the purpose of the server was to sexualize each other and other femboys. A server like this should never allow minors in it, let alone be dedicated to them. And as I said before, this is especially weird for Parlo to do this because he is 18. And as far as anybody knows, the only other person in the server confirmed to be over the age of 18 is Natty. Parlo outright denies all of this and says that there is no NSFW in his server whatsoever. And his proof that he showed is a screenshot of him asking one of his Discord moderators if the server is NSFW or not. All right, and you can attest to that the server wasn't not safe for work and he states mm -hmm. and then i stayed here because there was a rule stating it wasn't and empire states yeah there was a gay joke here and there but that was about it harlo using that screenshot as evidence that his server didn't have anything nsfw in it is like me using this screenshot as evidence that parlo likes to fuck dogs in minecraft so here i message the witness all right so you can attest to harlo got his booty cheeks clapped by a dog in minecraft the witness replies saying mm -hmm. i asked the witness can you explain in more detail the witness responds saying yes it was a saturday morning i saw it in broad daylight words can't describe it but the dog held parlo down as he penetrated him with his dog wee wee truly traumatized using pyro as your main witness to say that your discord server wasn't nsfw is fucking crazy considering in the same video pyro says that he was trying to take a photo where he needed to cover his bulge in it xd gamer tries to push the motive that pyro's abdominal progress pictures were inappropriate when he literally does exercise progress pictures because he goes to the gym a lot i mean this is the extent of lying that XD Gamers subjects people to in order to try and control the narrative. And this is followed by another screenshot of Pyro stating, The image XD Gamer always likes to bring up was a standard 5 picture which he couldn't get to look good from any angle except one that included the bulge. However, he naturally censored it by covering the entire region with his hands and that the bulge wasn't even there in the original picture. So there was absolutely nothing in the image that, that made it bad whatsoever and Pyro literally claims, no. Nah. Parlo, how fucking dumb are you? You just had an underage boy admit to you in your dms that he posted thigh pictures in your discord server and in one of them his fucking bulge was in it and he had to cover it up with his hand how is that not nsfw and the excuse that it's to show off how much he's been working out is such fucking bullshit who the fuck takes thigh pictures to show off how much they're losing weight this is only really the tip of the iceberg though there are other things that parlo has been exposed of in the document that he simply ignores in all of his response videos so not a lot of people know about these things the first thing being is a so 
association with doxers. In his response video, he says that XD Gamer doxed him. And although, yes, this is an extremely fucked up thing to do, and XD Gamer is a piece of shit, Parlo has been caught multiple times engaging in the same activity. Obviously, Parlo isn't the one actually doxing these people, but he is encouraging the doxers to dox people. And at times, he is straight up the reason why the doxers are doxing people. As you can see on the screen, everything that I am saying right now, there are screenshots to prove it. An interesting fact about all these people that Parlo has wanted to be doxxed is that they are all minors. I don't know what it is with Parlo and minors, he just can't seem to interact with anybody his own age, except for Natty, which as we all know, is somebody that nobody should be interacting with. I wish that Parlo would address these allegations, but he never does, and at this rate he never will, unless more people call him out on it. Because just like his response video and his taking accountability video, he does not address things unless he gets a lot of backlash from it. Otherwise, he will just ignore it and continue doing what he's doing. The next thing that the document brings up is that Parlo makes a lot of racist jokes. Now, this criticism towards Parlo, I think, is just nitpicking, so I won't be going too much in depth in this part. But basically, he would get into arguments with some people, and if they were Mexican or Asian or black, he would kind of make racist jokes towards them. Also, he made a few Nazi jokes, and he made some transphobic jokes, which I honestly think he kind of gets a slide on that last part, considering that he's gay and a femboy. I highly doubt he's transphobic. I also highly doubt that he's an actual Nazi, and I don't think he's racist. I do think that if he wanted to really take full accountability of his actions, though, he would at least address this part of the document, but he won't because he's afraid of the backlash that he'll get. The last thing that I'm going to be bringing up in this video that Parlo doesn't ever like to talk about is a somewhat sensitive topic as it deals with self-harm. It's pretty well known that Parlo has had a history of self-harm, but something that isn't as well known is that Parlo used to send images of him cutting his wrist to other people. And yeah, you guessed it, they were minors. Not only did he send images to them, but he even once cut his wrist while being on a call with a 13 year old, which must have been highly traumatic for that kid. And this is much more serious than the shit that I had mentioned previously. Obviously, he wasn't right in the head when he was doing these things, as nobody who cuts their wrist is, but that doesn't mean that he gets a slide for sending self harm gore to minors. In this response video, he called out XD Gamer 420 for sending blood and gore to minors, when technically, Parlo did the same thing. For this one, I think Parlo can be very easily forgiven. All he really needs to do is just address it and apologize, and show some proof or initiative that he's going to try and be better, and that something like this will never happen again. But if he never does that, then I can only assume that he is continuing to do these things behind the scenes, and that he is still a weirdo and will never change, just like Natty. And would you look at that, that's everything that I wanted to talk about in this video, and it didn't take me a whole ass fucking movie length to get through it all. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Or if you want to ride Parlo's dick, then dislike the video. Regardless though, I hope you all take care and have a great day. <laughs>